Three guys walk into a bar. Welcome back, Bar Crawlers. We are Three Guys Walking to Bar, and as always, I'm Rob. I'm Charlie. And I'm Nathan. Uh, before we get started today, I do want to tell you guys, always leave a review. Make sure you leave us a five-star. Um, if you want to check us out on Facebook, uh, Three Guys Walking to Bar, Facebook, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and you can always email us if you have any questions, comments, just want to say hi. It's uh, Three Men Walking to a Bar. The number three, men walk into a bar at gmail.com. Yeah, Nathan has a cat on his lap. He's <laughs> nudging my microphone over. Knocking th- he really wants to be a star. I know. Yes. He's, he's trying to steal a show. Right? He wants to be really popular in Australia. Yeah. Aw. Uh, I have wonderful news, guys. Stop. So, <laughs> no, not you, Rob. Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> Your cat's got to go, man. Your cat's got to go. Um, so I, uh, I received an email the other day, uh, and it's actually from the U.S. government, and turns out we have too many national treasures in our entire nation. People just say, this person's a national treasure, this person a national treasure. They have decided that we get to decide from here on out who gets considered uh, a national honor. treasure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you handle, <laughs> are you going to be able to handle that? Yeah. Well, That's a lot of pressure for Nathan. Miss misunderstood the prompt a little bit but go ahead <laughs> go ahead so, uh well we're, we're gonna start with uh uh-huh. charlie you had a couple that you wanted to bring up and let's go ahead and talk about them for a second the the immediate one that i thought of when we talked about national treasures was betty white hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i she, mean she never dies she, well she hasn't oh died my yet. god if I just jinxed it. I know. You, <laughs> you literally knock, killed. Yeah, on hold on. Yeah, you knock, just killed anyway. Uh, oh God, Charlie, you monster. <laughs> uh, well, I, while I do agree that she's been in a lot of movies, uh, there is one issue with her. Uh, she doesn't have 2020 vision. Therefore, she cannot uh, be. Yeah, cannot be an American. We're we're tough treasure. critics here. We yeah. are tough critics. So therefore, can't be a national treasure. And it has to be like perfect in every way. Well, yeah, yeah. So I brought the stamps. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Nathan, did you have one? Well, well, I thought you no, said... No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Do I thought you said um, n- pick two people who are in National Treasure. <laughs> so uh, I did Nicolas Cage and Sean Bean. Um, I'll <laughs> still stick with Nick Cage, though, I think. <laughs> I think he's a National Treasure. So... <laughs> He's he is a national treasure and in national treasure. And he was in Leaving Las Vegas, which and, was fantastic. Yeah. And have you seen Mandy? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's gosh. a good movie. Wait, are you arguing that Sean Bean isn't a national treasure? I think he's like from a different country. Oh. Oh, is he really? I think. I'll be honest. He's in Game of Thrones, and I think all those people. They're all <laughs> they are all British. Yeah, all, <laughs> none of them are yeah, yeah. So but if we're going with Nicolas Cage, I'm all in on Nicolas Cage. Oh. There's not a single thing wrong with him. Awesome. Nicolas Cage at all. I mean, <laughs> so on okay. air. Um, put the bunny in the box. Bunny in the box is fine. But I think we're going to go ahead and say okay to Nicolas Cage. Hey. <laughs> yes, he's in. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to bring up one here, as always. Uh, Thomas Hanks. Hmm. Good old Tom Hanks. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Easy. Hmm. I mean, he's the nicest guy that I've never met. Right. He, he, <laughs> there's a lot of people you haven't met. <laughs> generally speaking, he right. seems like like you haven't met Gandhi. I don't know. I feel like Tom Hanks would be nicer. <laughs> really? <laughs> just like personable. Just okay. you know. There is a story about him that he told it on the Conan podcast, where like uh, he was in an elevator and a mom walked in with her child, and the child, you know, mom's like, "Hey, that's Buzz Lightyear, or not Buzz Lightyear, but Woody," and he's yeah. like, "No, that's just a guy," and. Tom Hanks told him to close his eyes, and he spoke just like Woody did, and the kid's like eyes lit up and everything and was super excited. But Tom Hanks also has once killed a child by dropping them in the ocean from a cruise liner. Hmm? Yeah. Yep. So he uh, wow. killed... Yeah. I what didn't is, know what, that. What is that from? What's that? Oh, you, you, you never heard that story? That? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Hanks, yeah, back, uh, back in 87, just purposely picked up a child and yeah. dropped him. This was like pre... Yeah, this pre-cast is before Google. Away, yeah, yeah, yeah pre- pre-Google. This is Bachelor Party. Pre- I think they were filming big. Bachelor Party, and they just <laughs> edited that part out. Yeah. Uh, but he killed a child, so therefore we can't have him in. So. Oh, sir. 
No. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, my my other one I thought of was Keanu Reeves. Mm. Mm. I like him. I have no qualms. He was in Cyberpunk though. Right, but he was also Neo from the Matrix, and he's also John Wick. John he's Wick. also Bill or Ted. I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> he is one or the other. Yeah. I say he's Bill in. Bill and though. or Ted. He's always in because he's in my favorite action movie, Speed. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is your favorite action movie? It has the greatest ending line, all right? So it's fine. He's like, yeah. After uh, yeah, he gets yeah, his yeah. head cut off, he looks up he's like, yeah, well, I'm taller. Yeah. Before we stamp, <laughs> so before we stamp him in, though. Yeah. Speed 2 sucked, right? <laughs> yeah. See, I never saw it. I can't it's, speak it's, on it, it's but I would that, assume. but yes. like a cruise ship. Is Which he... the one thing about a cruise ship is like, it just it's doesn't go, go fast. fast. <laughs> is he in Speed? I never saw it. Speed 2? I don't know it? if he's in it. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna, so none of us saw it. No, I'm going to assume he's not. Okay. Yeah, so. Of it's course like the in. golden age of sequels sucking, right? Right. <laughs> so, he's in. Yes. Where they have Dolph Lundgren in... <laughs> Kindergarten Cop 2 instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger. They just oh, get someone no. close. Anyways, all right. I love Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> um, I guess my replacement for Sean Bean would be Jeff Goldblum. Oh, Jeff Ooh, Goldblum. I do love me some some Goldie. Some blooms. In the, blo- <laughs> the, blo- the bloom. <laughs> I don't know. He's the only one that's actually been in good uh, action movie sequels with the Jurassic Parks. I like Jurassic Park 2. I, I do. No. Jurassic Park 2 was good. No. No, rewatch it. It's actually not that bad. Don't watch. Wasn't three. he in all of them? Except so for three. Far, he wasn't in three, and not in the first world. He was okay. in the second world, which I was okay. shitty. Yeah, yeah, that one was bad. That was really shitty. I see. Movie. I didn't see the second one. Yeah, the but, second no, world. But the gold bloom. Yeah, the gold bloom deserves to be in everything at all times because it's Jeff Goldblum. The fly, mm. so good. Uh, but I do have one thing that he did wrong. Oh, uh, he actually poisoned his spouse for insurance money once. Wow, man, you didn't, you didn't know that? These people are bad people. Yeah. So I don't except for. Betty White, well, she's just not got good vision. <laughs> didn't, didn't you tell me once that Jeff Goldblum doesn't uh, use deodorant? No, no, that's Matthew McConaughey. Oh, oh that yeah, doesn't, yeah, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I think Jeff Goldblum doesn't brush his teeth. I think he just gets a new pair of dentures every single day. Really? That, yeah, I think you know, I, I've heard about that. Not well, cost not a, effective, but I mean, it he's, works. It's Jeff Goldblum. He doesn't he's care about money. money. Yeah, right. yeah. So he just gets new dentures every single day and then just brushes his tongue. Mm. Yeah. So Jeff Goldblum can't be in, man. Okay. Sorry. That's fine. No. <laughs> that was a lot of stamps back to back. And last but not least, mm-hmm. Tim. Tim Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. Why? I'm asking. You're asking me? Yeah. You know my answer. Why do you need to ask me? What about you? I'm indifferent about it. <laughs> I do. I do have to. Uh, Is he American, I wanna, though? I don't yeah. want to. Okay, I don't want with a name like Chalamet, you would think he's not. Well, it's not a real name. Something came out about a certain actor that I won't say his name. Is it Timothy? Recently, Chalamet? no. no. <laughs> However, apparently, he gave a lot of people something when he went to a university somewhere. <laughs> that is me being very vague as to not AIDS. I get it. Chlamydia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you clap. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, personally, I would put him in, but here's an issue. I've met him, and he's awful. That's it. You've met him? I've met him. He's well, awful. You didn't tell us. Well, I didn't want to. He's awful. He's yeah, a, he's, he's a terrible a human being. Bastard. Yeah, yeah really. Just, Fuck that guy. Some yeah. bitch. Fuck that guy we've never met. I, I was like, hey, Tim, how are you? He's like, please, Timothy. And I'm like, oh. Uh, oh. With two E's. <laughs> yeah, he's like, extend Ugh. that E's out. So Ugh, we got to keep him out. So Yeah, oh, absolutely. So the Shams, sorry about you, man. No. <laughs> Thank you. I propose, though, real quick, while we're still on Timothy Chalamet, we start calling him Tim- Timothy Chalamet. Oh, please. Makes it a lot less formal, which that's, if he's American, that's his Tim Chalamet. You know, Stephen Colbert, yeah, Stephen Tim- Colbert. Did yeah. you know that? Did he change it back? Hmm? Did he change it back? Stephen Colbert? Yeah. Is he, Col- is he Colbert? Now? Yeah. I think he's still Colbert. I think oh, he's okay. still living the lie. No. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Still living a lot. Uh, you, but yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So Tim Chalamet. Yeah, Tim Chalamet. So who we got in there? We got... We only have uh, a couple. One. Yeah. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves and... Uh, and Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Wow, that sucks. That's the only American treasures we have. Anyway. Yeah, I got a hey, game. I'm okay with it. I got a game for you guys. Ooh. You want to play a game? We it's a it. new game. Do I need a these stamps anymore? A game we've never anymore? played before. No, you can put the... <laughs> You marked up, like, there's ink all over my table now. <laughs> Sorry <Rob>. about that. <laughs> anyway, it's called The Price is Right, <gasps> but with years. <laughs> How do you like that title? 
<laughs> so creative. The price is right, but with years. So hey, I was there a give... comma, but with years, or dot dot dot, but with years. Dot dot. dot. Are we yeah, doing yeah, like yeah. the the Price is Right, but with years, but with years, yes, okay. correct. <laughs> so I am going to give you a product Ooh. or a a company, just something that was either founded or. And you get and you give me a year that you think it was invented Ooh. or started. Are, are we g- doing a round or closest? Yeah, so I'll give you I'll give you. Uh, there's one set year that I have for each product. You can go over and under. Ooh. So it's not like if you because so it's not way like the prices are right. So you can right. It's not you can, the closest you can over. Going over. Do. Yes, actually, I, no, I, we're holding on. <laughs> <laughs> Should get a calculator to calculate your guys's years. I didn't think that is it going to be actually. that tough for you. Yes. Okay. Uh, maybe I won't need it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the first item we have is pizza. So wait, last question. Yes. Closest to getting to the year without going past the year was invented. No. Oh, uh, just, just closest, closest to the year, okay, okay, and then okay, whoever okay. whoever is closer between you two gets the point. Cool. Cool. Pizza. Invented. 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 Oh. These are these are not modern inventions. We are going uh, way no. back on some of these. Oh, I'm gonna be so terrible at this. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's not gonna be easy. I, I genuinely would be thinking, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's oh. tough. Am I, am I wrong? Are you thinking way, way back? I am. Define How way, way back? way back? I'm thinking like 1600s right now. Okay. I was thinking I earlier. Wow. Oh, wow. Are we going BC? Is this BC? <laughs> no, I there may I be one BC. I, would, I, I wouldn't I go know. BC, but <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like 1300s. Okay. Well, oh, no. 1300s. Wow. All right, 1710. I'm going 1710. Also, before I give away the answers, just know that I did not do like a lot of research. My <laughs> the extent of my research is going Google. Google. <laughs> when was pizza invented? And then whatever the first answer well, was. That's all you need to do. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you got a problem with the answer, take it up with Google. So all right, what are the final 1710 answers? 1710 for me. 1710. 1300. 18. Oh. 89. Really? I thought it'd be 1889 even that late? Jeez. I wonder if they would have had pizza prior, but they're the uh, the invention of like an oven, like a stove type thing. Cause, like, oh. It'd be a brick oven kind of thing, but yeah. like I, wonder I if feel like this is going to make me feel stupid. <laughs> 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 Alright, this one, this one sh- I'm, I'm giving you some leeway on. There oh. wasn't a specific year, so I'm giving you the whole century. If you oh guess my any year in that century, you... Could both possibly get a point. All right, you ready? All right. The cup and ball game, you know, where you have a <laughs> cup on a stick, and then there's a string with a ball, and you have to flip the ball into the cup. I, yes. Yeah. That you one. don't know this one? No, I know. No, I'm just thinking. You're, thinking. you're like, you're I, like the, I was zoning I was, there. I was thinking. I don't want to sound no, stupid my, through the whole game. <laughs> but the, if, I'm thinking, if I'm thinking century, no, though. Literally all the ones that I looked up shocked me, so don't, don't feel See, bad. See, but the items on this, like a cup and a ball... And a string. Yeah. This, could, this all, could be... I'm thinking 1530. Oh, my gosh. I'm. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go 1290. The 1300s, bro. That was 10 <laughs> years away. <laughs> no. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I had, they had you, all the items. The point, they had all closer. the items. That was close. Yeah. I was closer than I thought I was going to be. I started thinking of like old British kids. Like, what else are yeah, they going to yeah. do besides run the streets and pickpocket people? <laughs> right? Yeah. Some of them just wanted to have fun. I'm very curious to see how close you guys get on this one. Oh, no. <sighs> Houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. How are we defining houses? That's um, the issue. A solid structure, kind of like a brick and mortar type thing. Not huts, not so caves. Not a wigwam. Not a okay. not caves, especially just you know a man made structure, solid. Okay, I mean this one I am gonna go BC. Um, well you go first. I've said it first most no, of the time. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a hint. You're on the right track. Yeah, like I'm genuinely gonna. No, go- I was gonna go BC no, as no. well. I'm gonna go like 400 BC. 399 BC. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 9,000 BC. What? No. Charlie wins. <laughs> yeah. This is called The Price is Right. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, no. no I won. Win. I'm far because it goes the other way. Oh. <laughs> man, I was thinking I was going the other way. The Price is Right in yourself. <laughs> 
All right, it's getting pretty out of reach, but the last two are worth 500 points each. Oh, my god! So, gosh. Charlie, it's anybody's game. Cool. <laughs> a pencil. Err. Hmm. And now we're talking like not like a writing utensil, not yeah, yeah, like a quilt, yeah, yeah. a modern day pencil. Uh, the graphite and the wood. I'm just describing a pencil now. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a number two on it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to have a number two. Right. Right? Paper mate written on. I safely, <laughs> I safely assume the mechanical one came first. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with. 1645. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going more. 18. I mean, I'll just go like 1850. 1812. Okay. Yeah. Damn, Rob. I I don't know years. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Ink and quill then, man. Last one. Who fucking knows? (laughs) Rob, congratulations. You won, but I got one more for you guys. (laughs) Little Debbie. Oh, when did she... When was the company? Uh, founded? When was Little Debbie born? Yeah. Well, I I could I actually know that answer as well. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Can I ask you, Little yeah, Debbie? Let's is, do Let's do Little what, Debbie as the person. What What about What about her cousin, Giant Deborah? <laughs> <laughs> the, the cousins are named the same. Damn it! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so mad at you that I did not think of that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot uh, take credit for that joke. That is from Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> okay. 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 So we did. Uh, so when I did my research. This company was founded uh, a certain year. Actually, you know, yeah, a certain year by Little Debbie's grandparents when she was four years old at the time. So I'll give you her birth year or the company. Oh, okay. which it's four years apart, so it's pretty, yeah, yeah. Pretty well, let's do the company. I'm good with the yeah, company. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I'll go first. I'll go first on okay, this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 1929. I was literally going to say 1926. Okay, but. I'll change it to 1924. What did you say? 29. 1960. Shit. <laughs> oh, that late? Really? Yeah. No, it's new. It's, it's young. <laughs> yeah, it's a young. In gotta theory, think, little Debbie's to, still alive. To houses. Yeah, right. to that means Little though, Debbie's still one. alive, right? Yeah. No, she runs the company now. No shit. Believe it or not. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. Fun fact. <laughs> anyway. Well, here's a segue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see a lot of uh, delicious looking snack cakes in front of me. Today we are doing another taste test. We are testing out I'm so hungry for these right now. Different Little Debbie uh, snack cakes. We will post a picture of them. Yeah. It, uh, on our It's Facebook. a lot of food. But anyway, let's go over the tier list. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah Rob's He's so got, excited. Rob's got the <laughs> it's Christmas morning for Rob over there. Except right. except for one of them. Two of yes. them. Two of them. Sorry. Oh. All right. So uh, at the very, very bottom, at the bottom of the list, we have Little Debbie Downer. Uh, right above that, Oatmeal Cream Sigh. Nah. Uh, the middle <laughs> one is Nothing to Complain About. Number two is Honey Fun. And <laughs> number one is Cosmically Delicious. Honey fun. I like that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, throw it up to you guys. What do you just want to start with? I don't have like any specific order. To I these I'll be honest with you. Can we you can we go with the uh, can we go Star Crunch first? I'm okay with. I don't Star know Crunch why for... you want to, but yeah, to get it out of the way. I love that Star Crunch. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Get it out of the way. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna have to do these like away. So from, yeah, oh, away so Star from Crunch life. is like a. Um, it's like uh, caramel rice, with like rice crispy. Yeah, rice crispy. I remember not liking these. I don't know. These are delicious. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I could not get enough of these. Super. I mean, it's like it's not yeah. like a hard caramel. It's like soft enough. I got the rice krispies in there. I know. Just oh, the rice a little krispies bit of crunch. <laughs> Nathan's keep. <laughs> Nathan, <laughs> at the beginning of this, Nathan. Nathan was like, "There's no way we're gonna eat all of all of these." And then Nathan's just taking like three oh. bites now so far. <laughs> I always thought that I did not like these. Mm-hmm. And if this is going to be the bottom of the list. <laughs> You're in for a treat. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> Before this, I was telling Nathan that Star Crunch is one of my favorites. And he was yeah, like, I, I You're a fucking weird. idiot, Charlie. <laughs> and now, Na- look who's laughing now, Nathan. Dude, I'm having dude, honey fun eating this right now. Mm. Honey fun eating this. Mm-hmm. Honey fun. Oh, my God. All right, stop. I got more to eat. Yeah, we're going to get full within the first two. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do let's do something Rob doesn't want to eat. Oh man, get that out of the way, right, Rob? Pick them. I kind of I kind of want to do something fruity. I'm a, I'm, oh, a, I'm a fun fruity guy. This is a cherry um, cherry pie. You know, when I was at the store, 
and they had both cherry and apple. And I said, oh, it won't matter which one I get. I'll just get cherry. Turns out Rob hates cherry. <laughs> so I made the perfect decision. It's so good. It's got the great crispy outside, but not too much crisp. And the fruitiness. Oh, Rob's not liking it. And the fruitiness inside. That jelly. Mm-hmm. Well, because it's slightly frosted on the outside. Mm-hmm. So it gives it that sweetness. It's that a donut on the through. outside. That's oh, a, yeah. That's a pure donut. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's so good. Yeah, that's a jelly filled. I took a oh. bite. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you barely took a bite, right? I got enough for the jelly, all right? I better see that whole nutty buddy down. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. I'm addicted to peanut. Not addicted. I'm all allergic right. to peanut butter. I no, s- you're not. We know you're not. You liar. <laughs> I say that's honey fun. Ugh. I we'll absolutely. Oh, you know what? Not even the worst for me, though. You know Oatmeal what? I, cream I, I, would, I would say I would say honey fun because it's not the best on the list. But that's an I put it right good. in the middle then. Oatmeal cream side. Right in the middle. All right. Um. Let's do honey fun or the honey bun. I, I've i never had one before. This is my first time. Mm. I'm excited. This is the one that we had at the house um, before I went out and bought. I have I do have a fun story here in a second about buying mm-hmm. all these freaking. So it's super simple. The honey kind of comes through a little bit, but totally it, like lip smacking everyone right now. Sorry no, about right. that. <laughs> That's why we're eating away from the microphone. Not I. Not I. <laughs> <laughs> but the cake, the cake is super light. So it really it, it it turns from like a sweet snack into like something that's lighter and easy to eat. I remember in fourth grade I'd go to like YMCA camp or something, and they would give us that at snack time. So good. That was my favorite part of the day. I won't lie to you. I wanted something a little more. Like, really? it, was, like it was fine. It was good. I'm not gonna complain. Right. But I I felt like uh, I just needed something a little more on that one. Mm. It's definitely the lightest mm. and the 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 less the least flavorful of the things that we have here. So I, I put it in the middle. What, what's the middle again? No, nothing to complain nothing about. Nothing to complain about, yeah. but Uh-oh. I wouldn't choose to Cat's buy it. Cat's back. Oh, my God. Cat's back. That's all right. <laughs> Coming to He's steal your food. food. Anyway, so nothing, nothing to complain about? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right. <sighs> Cosmic Brownie? Cosmic uh, Brownie. I'm so excited <laughs> for this one. I think we're all excited for this one. My sister used to always have these in you know, like an apple jar kind of thing for her kids. This I, is the perfect after all school the time. snack. Yeah. I used to think they were nerds on top. They well, are. it's just thick enough of a brownie to like be easy to just take a bite of and not have it fall apart. And then there's the chocolate on top that gives it just the slightest bit of crunch. Mm. You gotta take your rose colored glasses off. This, <laughs> really? This I You don't like it? Are we okay, I got a, I got a question. Are we um as you eat it? Are you just thinking of it as it's the quality is relatively low and you're just enjoying it because it's sweet and chocolate, or are you trying to compare it to an actual good brownie? Because if you're comparing it to an actual good brownie, it's it's nothing compared rough to a at best. Yes, I will give you that. It is absolutely nothing compared to a normal brownie. I do like pushing the little candies in up at the top. It's like a fun, <laughs> fun little it's whack-a-mole like a fun game. Little game. Yeah, <laughs> they don't they don't pop back up. No, though. Don't, yeah. Totally. Yeah, <laughs> I do like that part. I, I won't lie to you. I expected more. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, it's a brown. It's still chocolate. In the end, it's still chocolate. I'm sighing. I mean, I would say nothing to complain about. Okay. What are you saying? Sighing? Uh, or are you complaining? I'm complaining. Okay. I'm complaining. Then that's fine. Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Rob. I'm like giving you a little passive aggressive. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so it's all about Rob. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oatmeal cream pies. Oh, Let's say, can we go away from chocolate? For These a bit? are yeah. my favorite. Like it's this and Star Crunch for me that are my top two. While you guys eat this, I do want to tell the story about when I went to Kroger to buy nine of these uh, snack cakes. I was mid just taking a box of whatever and throwing it into my cart when the actual little Debbie guy came up to restock the shelves, and I got so panicked that he was like, I didn't want to have a conversation, like. I just really love your product, man. <laughs> <laughs> Big so fan I, of what you do. Yeah, Big so fan. I have six boxes of Little Debbie in my in my handheld basket, and I'm like, I got to get out of here. So I just take a couple <laughs> laps around the store until he's done stocking the shelves, and then I come back, grab a couple more. You that really, is that yeah. is amazing. I was I didn't I didn't want to talk to him. So do you really think the guy was going to try and upsell his product that's been <laughs> yes, around when you clearly have well, a no, lot not, of it? Not upsell, just like. 
<laughs> I work for them. And that's still weird, you know, right. buying six. You uh, should have just got been like, hey, can I get those fresh ones from you? <laughs> <laughs> those you know just, what I mean? Those just come out of the oven? <laughs> 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 Do you finish those brownies this morning? <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, I'm so mad you didn't do that. <laughs> right? I panicked. It would, <laughs> I mean, Nathan, Nathan poor, is not a social butterfly this by poor any means. Guy is just trying to stock shelves and get through the day, and then this asshole <laughs> <laughs> with six of his best products. <laughs> and then I. The funny thing is. So to, to kill time while he stopped the shelves, I did laps around the Kroger, and then I just stare him down every time. <laughs> that is <laughs> incredible. Don't die, man. Uh, so back to the ranking at hand. Yeah, uh, yeah. oatmeal cream pie. It's definitely top of the list. Not bad, me. but not great. Um, See, I think I we're gonna really like be it. disappointed by some of these. Like, I think I think we hold them in high regard, but there's I, one I'm really nervous about. I don't, I, I, I don't really like that. Really? No. Cream no. Pie, no. I like the uh, the double stuffed ones better because there's more cream. But I love those. That's oh, top of my list. Gee. What is uh, um, the uh, the middle one? <laughs> Whatever. The, not the middle one. The second from top. Honey fun. Honey fun. Damn. Really? I like a good oatmeal something. And man. you're putting it at cosmically delicious. Oh yeah. For me, yeah. yeah. Wow, I guess honey fun it is, because I'd put it really bottom. low. Are you at the bottom? Um, I like an oatmeal a lot oatmeal of things. Oatmeal cream so. side. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, um, I'll let you guys choose the next one. We still have a cupcake. Uh... Uh, can we do zebra cakes? Yeah, that's yeah, let's perfect. Do the zebra cakes. This is their best decorated item. Yeah, they. this is the one where they come out with like variations during Christmas and Easter, where they put the fun colored mm. sprinkles on it. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had one of these. I'm excited. They're super light. I won't lie to you. This has been actually my favorite so far, and I'm surprised really? by that. Yeah, very light. That's it's true. definitely up there at at least honey fun for me, um, because I really enjoy how light. I mean, because a lot of these are gonna feel like heavy. Oh, my heavy stomach hurts cakes. already. I won't lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, this one is definitely much lighter because it's. I mean, it, it is a white cake with the with this very light cream filling comparatively oh. to their other cream fillings. Mm-hmm. That's really good. So I really like it. I know. It might sound funny coming from a guy staring at a plate of sugar blasted pastries. <laughs> That's a little too sweet for me. Oh, really? Icing's a little too sweet. We're still for not me. even to their probably sweetest one, which is probably going to be the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah strawberry probably. shortcake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just the icing. I, I'm not a huge fan. That's her. I've She's already. I've already. Swiss rolls going to be sweeter. <laughs> that was actually my favorite one so far. So, so. you're cos- cos- yeah, cosmically delicious. I put it at honey fun. Okay. I like it better when it's shaped like a Christmas tree, but. Well. <laughs> Tastes a little better. Nostalgia. More festive. Um, let's go back to chocolate. Let's do that cupcake. Oh. It's just a, it's basically a chocolate cupcake. Oh, um, it's cream filled. I would assume it's got is, the awesome like yeah. a white swirl on top across the middle. It's very fancy. Whoever whoever they have with the pa- the pastry uh, bag doing mm-hmm. the. See that one is yeah they have a person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they have a person. Yeah, little Debbie has a, a person. <laughs> I've actually, um, I think I've seen the Food Network where they actually make these, and it's like a bunch of robots just quickly, like you know, right. squiggling as they go through. I think that it, it's too rich of a chocolate flavor. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. See, I'm not a huge. Uh-huh. It's so good. No. I, again, I'm not a cake person. Like oh. I don't like cake. Nathan just shoved the whole thing in his mouth. What I said about the zebra oh, cake, good. I lied. That was way oh, better. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. I think that's why I like the zebra cake more than this one because this one feels more like. A cake, uh, and I and I'm not a cake guy. Yeah, I like you only like carrot cake. You I don't weird, only like person. carrot cake. <laughs> that reminded me a lot of like the chocolate just donuts. I'm sh- I assume right, and I just, they I use see, the I don't same like recipe. Those. As like oh the, the donuts. Little... Yeah, 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 yeah. Don donuts. That's what they're called. Yeah, mm-hmm. They're called oh, donuts. I, yeah, I, would, I never get them because well, you're an adult. You don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I still get them. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Rob? James, you still here? Yeah. Quick distraction. <laughs> Nathan right. did just become a man last week. It's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, that was delicious. So you, it's on top for me right now. I put it at one. You want to put it lower? I would put it at the nothing to complain about. So Your cats are about to murder man, each this, other. This two is stacked. We're liking a lot of these. I mean, did it's, we think we were going to not like a lot sweet of sweet and yeah. 
Oh God! <laughs> oh, Rob, that's gonna, that's gonna sound on great on air. <laughs> if my math is correct, we have three left. <laughs> we do. We do. My math Let's do is the correct. strawberry shortcake. Can we not leave the nutter butter for last, please? <laughs> it's our grand finale. <laughs> All right, so we'll do it second <laughs> to last. Thank let's you. Do, let's do the shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Now, I did find somebody's blog spot about their favorite Little Debbie snack cakes. Just some random guy. He said the, these are the best ones, according to him. Oh my gosh, yes. Really? I, I, it's a little too tart for me. I have a well strawberry jelly and jam is like my go to, so this is kind of Yeah, a, you hate the cherry. That's that's what throws me off. Strawberries and cherries are way different, man. No, I mean they are, but as a jelly and a jam, they're they're no. similar. It's, it is very good. But this I think is euphoric. See, but I think <laughs> see you thought the other one, you thought the zebra cake was, <laughs> right, was sweet. Rob? This one is much sweeter oh, than yeah, that zebra yeah, cake for me. It is, agreed. Yeah, I think I can do very sweet fruit, but not very sweet like sweet. Okay, yeah. icing. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> as if I, I don't know. I, I we I, understand that. We always I make mean, fun of my mom because she makes her own like buttercream and like uh, royal mm-hmm. icing and things like that. But she years ago had to get a surgery done on her face. The doctor accidentally shot too far and got a little bit more in her nose, so her sense of smell is gone. Mm. So she was relying on her own taste to see how sweet her stuff is. And needless to say, we all have diabetes every time she makes a cake. <laughs> so this is a shot down. Yeah. I'm putting this at number one. Well, not number one, but the top tier. Um, oh, so I, it is very, very good. Oh, so um, good. That's all good. No. I, I, do, I would put it up at the top. I Cosmically think. delicious? Oh, hell yeah. That's our, first no- that's our first top spot. Oh, my gosh. Really? All right. You ready for another top spot? Oh, God, no. Hold on. We got to record. We got to record Rob's reaction to this. As as loyal listeners will know, Rob absolutely hates peanut butter. So up next is a Nutty Buddy, which is just like a wafer peanut butter. It's so good. And I cannot wait to just... <laughs> His face right now, he's so upset about this. <laughs> cheers, Rob. Cheer, cheers, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all touch... Touch <laughs> that. Let's just touch tips. <laughs> it's crunchy, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Swallow. I will. I will. Oh my god! <laughs> Just the wave you of peanut butter. Big, you, know, you, can't, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> the wafer makes it so light, though. No, he hates it. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> He's crying. Oh god. Rob oh. is crying. <laughs> Chug your vodka. <laughs> my morning vodka. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so He's good. He's like, I got to go eat some more of this other one. <laughs> Which one did you just eat again? The strawberry. The strawberry oh, sort yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. Bad. I, I love those. I think they're so good. I wish more things had a wafer. See, the wafer kind of yeah. tones ah, it down. No, oh, once you bite into that, that peanut butter explodes, though. I honestly, I, I am nowhere near the peanut butter hater that you are, but I don't, like, love peanut butter. Anyone else getting like that is really good, so good. I'm getting sick to my stomach right now. Guys. We only have one more. Thank God, one more. You know it's at the I, bottom for me. You, you I guys love talk about it those because yeah. there was also those other wafery. I, you know what I'm talking about? The other wafer ones that come in like three different colors. There's a there's what? a like a Neapolitan wafer what? thing. This is a thing. You know I'm. Uh, it's so good. It's it's like that, but without the chocolate covering on the outside. But it's like three different flavors. Oh, and the cream in the middle. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking about. And they're so good. Yeah. It's the same wafers. I know exactly what you're uh, talking about. So good. Yeah. yeah, sugar wafers. Oh, the Keebler oh, elves make it. Oh. We need to do a Keebler episode. Those are made in trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> made from tree bark, too. Literally, I'm going to get diabetes from doing this podcast with you guys. <laughs> yeah, <one laughs> all... Oh, wait. Charlie, where are you putting it? I'm putting it up at the top. Uh, for me, it would be uh, probably Honey Fun. It's not up at the top. That but means I... we're putting it at number four. Because Rob's putting it like below five. I'm at I'm at five. I don't I'm not gonna break the scale. <laughs> There's the scale only a few things that break the scale, yeah. and this is not one of them. Yeah. Pretty sure nine eleven was one. Oh god. I don't think nine eleven came up. Oh. Conspiracy theories. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, we're going to <laughs> Yeah. I miss our old room. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan is just looking at the the uh, mural of <laughs> of the Twin Towers. Hold on. Nutty. nutty. So, uh, three. Three, yeah. Okay. 
Cool. Nothing to complain about, All right. which, which is where it fits. <laughs> this is the last one. I think this is probably most people's favorite question. From my, oh, yes, go he, ahead. Sorry, he eats it that way. You eat it that way. You guys don't peel the chocolate off first? Huh? Oh, man. You monster. Rob no. wants to peel the chocolate? You're supposed to eat it as is. No, ew. What am I supposed to do with Should that? we record, should we record this and, <laughs> and, and put it on Facebook at how weird Rob eats this? Oh, what are you, you don't... doing? Whoa! I don't. He's like taking little bites off the outside yeah. of it. It's not even like, and then you pick it off with your fingers. Oh, yeah. It's the thinnest chocolate, and then you eat the eat the cake what? by itself. Yeah, that you're so weird. I've never <laughs> seen anybody do that before. You know what's gross? What <laughs> that? I do this with a slim gym. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> that is gross. That is the most horrifying really thing gross. I've ever heard. Oh no. <laughs> Ew. The little beef skin. <laughs> it's like eating, uh, peeling skin. Yeah, <laughs> See, no kidding. The only similar thing to that I did was back when Krispy Kreme was a big thing. Um, I would get the the big chocolate covered donuts, and I would lick the chocolate off the top of it, and then just eat the donut that's huh. the the filled donut. That's the weirdest thing I've done, kind of like that, but. You don't just peel it off your slim. I think I uh, yeah. <laughs> what I find funny is when Charlie dug into the uh, whatever this is called. You you were like shocked that he just went straight. Right, in. that I that I <laughs> you're like like a normal so yeah, person. You were asking, <laughs> so do you guys eat it like the normal way, or do you peel it off first? Like a like a acting regular, like it's not like it is normal for people to peel off the chocolate and eat it. It's not, Rob. You're weird. <laughs> I gotta say, this isn't as good as I remember it. No, just eat it. There's there's so much <laughs> cream. <laughs> what are you doing? You just ate it sideways. I was eating it from the side one layer at a time. What are you doing? What is wrong <laughs> with you? What choices have you made? <laughs> what led you to yeah. this in your life? Nah, don't worry about it. I'm delicious, though. Mm. I'm so sick right now. Like this, yeah. I, I feel so awful. My plate is still completely full. I don't know... I'm going to finish my plate and Mackenzie's plate, probably. Whoa. And just to let you guys know, they have an 18-pound No, you're going to finish your plate? And yeah. their crock pot, too. We, uh, n- a nine and a half pound That's why I said 18-pound, right? It, it doubles in size in the crock pot. When the crock pot, the crock pot it doubles <laughs> you in size. You added inst- instant it's, yeast It's to proofing, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you put it in there for, right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, this would usually be at the top, but I don't know if I'm just sick or not. I think that's what it is. If I were to have that first... Oh, it'd be great, but I'm just so done with everything. <laughs> See, for the for me, that one's lower. That yeah. one, that one hits. Uh, what's that second to bottom? I don't know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hitting. Get, getting you guys hit are too. getting like oatmeal cream. You're side. gonna eat all that after we're done, Charlie. Oatmeal cream side. <gasps> he just shoved the whole cherry pie in his mouth. I think you should just sandwich all of them together. Yeah. All right. Well. well yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a blender if we wanna. <laughs> Water. Just get a blender a mixed, whole with, mixed with buttercream so that it'll liquid up. Liquid mm. up. Yeah. That actually mm. doesn't sound bad. Ice cream? Some, yeah. A uh, can of condensed milk. <laughs> God damn it. Sweet uh, condensed milk. Yeah, this is in the middle for me. I think yeah, it's, middle, I, yeah, yeah, it's in the middle. Yeah. Ow. Nothing to complain about. Oh, I'm so sick right now. All right. Well, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I regret all this. Yeah, time. right. Yeah. We did it, but at what cost? Mackenzie is so <laughs> disappointed in me. <laughs> it's like the the end of uh, Infinity War. You did it, but at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever she said. Everything. We're compar- cost everything. We're comparing our 70 listeners to Infinity War. <laughs> well, we all, yeah. <laughs> we all, <laughs> this is the biggest crossover event in podcasting <laughs> history. <laughs> Um, well, we only have one at the top, which is strawberry shortcake. So I okay. guess that's the best one. I like that one a lot. No, it was very good. I just ate the last of mine. We have quite a bit at two. We have the zebra cakes, oatmeal cream pie, the chocolate cupcakes, the star crunches. So my top two made it to number two, and you were shitting on me about it. Well, no, 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 no. If it was number two overall, it would have been in the top tier. It's... Eh, whatever. It was better. <laughs> Star crunches were better than I thought. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit defeat. And then we have a bunch in uh, three as well. We have the cherry pie, honey bun, cosmic brownies, uh, nutter butters or nutty buddies, and um, the Swiss Swiss rolls. We don't have any in the four or five. Good, but it's, it's all delicious in all reality. Besides two of them, but that's because yeah, you guys are monsters. Pure sugar. Yeah, we love sugar. Right, mm-hmm. we do. 
We're mm. going to stay with the theme for the cocktail of the week, gentlemen. Oh, you, you got one too? Oh, you got one? There you go. Are we cocktails of the week? Yeah, what do you got? I got a chocolate cake martini. Oh, I got a strawberry shortcake martini. What? <laughs> go ahead. Chocolate strawberry martini? We gonna blend it you together? You could probably do it together. Oh, honestly, man. actually, mine's more of a daiquiri, not a martini. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll go first, then you follow it up. Mm-hmm. Something, yeah, we'll end it there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, start off with an ounce and a half of Godiva chocolate liqueur, two ounces of cake flavored vodka, two ounces of some half and half. Add a little bit of chocolate syrup. Go ahead and shake all of that up. Make the glass look nice. Strain. Mm, very nice. There you go. And for you, sir? Um, like I said, mine is a strawberry shortcake um, blended thing. Oh, you're you're not doing so hot. <laughs> not, not. All right, I'll hurry up. Uh, it's one ounce of amaretto, one ounce of strawberry liqueur, one ounce of creme de cacao. Uh, put it in a blender, vanilla ice cream, fresh strawberries. Hit the blender, and you're good to go. That sounds delightful. Yeah, that sounds fresh well, strawberry, so it's healthy for you tonight. Um, the amaretto is it's gonna be like oof, so good to me. Well, as always, we're gonna go take a big, big nap and <laughs> get our, get our, go to the hospital. Actually, uh, well, thank you, uh, everybody, so much for listening. As always, and uh, bars closed. <laughs>